don't even know. Probably Jiren. I'd probably start link leveling Jiren. What? Why would I start link leveling Jiren? This is an anniversary video. Thumbs down, dislike. I hate this video. Wait a minute. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, not gonna say I called it, but I told you guys. Uh, granted, I did say it, it, it during the super easies that could drop. I said that with the uh, announcement that, well, with the addition of all the super easy A's being synced up, that I, the super easy A would probably be on both versions. Um, so I technically got that wrong, but I did say to link level Jiren. Anyways, so Tech Jiren, uh, MVP 17, and Golden Frieza, and then the Team Universe 7 LR are all coming to part three of the celebration, which is insane, of course. Um, these new easy A's are it was just insane uh, also I, I i think this would technically count as actually part ex but regardless i felt like we should go ahead and talk about the kits of the units in case you aren't keeping up on the jp version since um if you aren't then obviously you don't know what they do but let's go ahead and talk about uh the person that i tech called first of course which was jiren while we don't have like this guy out on global of course i do think that this guy is still okay the main issue is that there's we don't have topo we don't have a lot of these this guy is like main uh linking partner i guess and, and that that does suck but it, again it doesn't mean that he's unusable if we go ahead and check his kit he has 30 percent damage reduction for the first turn he has guard as long as you're 40 percent hp or more which it's not that hard of a condition right if you're uh HP is 40% or less, so you get an additional 200% attack and defense. And not only that, but the 200% attack and defense is for the rest of the battle, by the way, because it says starting from the turn, you get an additional 200% uh, attack and defense, which is really nice. Uh, and then if it's... So what is it? Or if the HP is 80% or less starting from the fifth turn, from the character's entry turn. So basically you get 200% attack and defense if your character is below 40% HP or below 80% HP after the fifth turn and beyond of the characters. The characters fifth turn, basically. So his third appearance. Um he also gets three key with each uh, attack received, not evaded by the way, up to eleven, which is pretty pretty good you know having these characters that just have like insane amounts of key is really cool launch an additional attack when the character uh wait sorry launches an additional super attack starting from the, the turn when the character receives a third attack in battle again not that bad of a condition considering you want to be taking lots of hits with this guy anyways with guard and then obviously the damage reduction for the first turn and getting three hits is not a bad condition at all especially when the super attack effects is greatly raising your attack and defense for one turn now this is where the kit kind of like starts to suck well i past this part attack effectively it's all types which is really cool then he performs a critical hit when the uh characters is or the target character is attacked down defense down or stunned again you're just never going to see that and then he also disables enemy enemies action once within the turn when the key is 24. i feel like this should have just been a, a permanence thing like just when whenever your key is 24 you just disable the enemy's action but again, I can see how that might be a little bit too broken and busted. But then again, it's a Jiren card. Um, but or whatever. You know, like this guy is still amazing. You know, his, his big Uga Booga uh, attack and defense at the start of turn. Even more big Uga Booga attack and defense. Uh, guard, you know, he, uh, he, again, even more Uga Booga right here. Like, he's just a very uh, brain dead unit that is just going to dominate the entire game, right? Especially on the global version. He's just going to just... Just... <laughs> Heat up everything uh the main issue i would also talk about is just the fact that his categories just don't have the the things that they need just yet but it's because we have to wait for the jiren on uh jp to come to global the lr of course just because we need a leader for him and he just doesn't have tech mui he doesn't have uh jiren he doesn't have all those characters that he would be on uh just yet just yet he also has the active skill which is basically just the same thing you know 30 percent attack and defense and none, none of this stuff changes you know after the character receives five more attacks in battle basically you can keep this in your back pocket when you think that you are in a very uh bad spot you just pop the active skill get 30 percent more attack and defense for the turn and you know just uh just start dominating of course then we go into the next eza mvp 17 which is probably the most busted unit inside of the game right next to physical golden freezer these two are actually just again more brain dead options that are just insane 
This unit gets 35% damage reduction, 35 crit chance, as long as you're running a team of basically f uh, five Universe 7 category allies. Hey guys, let's go check the Universe 7 category. Hmm, easy A, okay, easy A, all right. Got another easy A, okay. Wow, that's crazy. There's another easy A down here. There's another easy A down here. We have another easy A down here. Uh, another unit that's dropping soon like there's so many options on this team that getting five units is not a difficult thing at all and then if you're also running all five units uh represented in universe seven you also get an additional 17 percent crit chance and damage reduction uh so if you aren't following along it's 52 percent crit chance and damage reduction just for free basically you also randomly change key spheres of a certain type not not int of course two rainbow key spheres when your hp is 77 percent or less at the start of the turn once only then you also get an additional uh attack and defense by 77 percent when your key is 17 or more which is pretty easy considering that you start off with five and then a lot of these links are going to be uh links that you're going to be proccing regardless tornado to power is just going to be basically free three key on the team and then if some units can have shocking speed of course and you know uh, I guess infinite energy, uh, Android assault, depending on if you're running other Android, uh, like 17 to 18, who are going to be easy. And those units can definitely be used as well. We also have stuff like the 77% um, attack and defense, uh, and perform an additional super attack when 20 key, 22 key or more. Another insane thing, uh, plus an additional three key and. Uh, Per rainbow keys for obtained, and then you also get uh, an additional one key and uh, seven percent attack and defense support. Not to yourself though, and chance to perform a critical hit for yourself to seven percent per rainbow keys for obtained. So pretty busted, of course. You just basically give this guy uh, all rainbow keys that you can, and uh, it's not even that bad of a, a thing because uh, if we could just go ahead and go back to representative universe seven right here. This unit right here is just going to be doing rainbow key sphere changing anyways. And yes, you do want to be giving them some rainbow key spheres, but you don't really have to prioritize it as much. So <laughs> you basically just gonna have a lot of rainbow key spheres. And especially if you're running like a superheroes team, Gogeta also fills that role of rainbow key sphere changing as well. So not bad, of course. And then the, the active skill is also busted, you know, the 18 key, 12 key is insanely busted as well, giving crit chance support for two turns, raising your allies attack and defense as well by 30% for two turns. This man not only makes it where your entire team is busted, but also they are busted. And then the 12 key, which we already saw is almost an immediate guaranteed additional super attack as long as you're able to get the rainbow key spheres, gives you an additional 30% attack and defense for that uh, turn to all allies as well while also doing insane amounts of damage. So again, in a very busted ECA for sure. Uh, and then over here, sorry about that, I had a pause, but physical golden Frieza and uh, Android 17 or MVP 17 are amazing as well. Um, not really much to talk about, just the fact that only defense on the super, of course, and then the fact that they're basically unkillable on turn one. So on their entry turn, they get 50% uh, damage reduction, and they also get seven key to get them out of the gate. Then they also get key for every single time that you attack, which is really, really cool. And then attacking defense, of course, just like how it was uh, before EZA, basically. Yeah, attacking defense like how it was before. Thank you. Um, not only that, but you also get an additional key with each super attack performed as well. Which is really cool because if we go ahead and look at right here i think i'm almost positive these weren't uh, like additional they were just additional attacks they weren't like super attacks at all yeah you have a great chance of launching up to two additional attacks now it's just straight up you know you launch two additional attacks guaranteed each of which have a 50 percent chance of being a super attack which is awesome and then not only that, but the part down here is still insane as always. 17% crit chance and reducing your damage by 17% within the same turn with each attack performed. So not even super attacks. So basically, just from doing your regular attacks, you get the 17 from doing the uh, regular attacks that you always do. You get an additional 34% from doing this. You have an additional from doing hidden potential as well. 
So most of the time, you're either going to have 50, um, 51, is it 51% uh, damage reduction? And I think it can get up to 68 with hidden potential. And again, this is, it's literally the reason why this character is just unkillable turn one is because you start off with 50 and then you get an additional 50 from the just doing the attacks in slot two. <laughs> so, or just like doing the attacks in general. So they're insane, of course. And then their active skill was busted before and even more busted now, just because they get seven key, 77% defense, and then they perform critical hits for the entire turn. And then all they have to do is perform four super attacks in battle. Uh, and most of the time you're just gonna be getting this either on turn one or turn two, excuse me, turn one or turn two, just because you have two built-in chances to do an additional attack and then the potential is almost always going to proc. And yeah, like, uh, defense calculations have been done on this guy as well and they're just insane obviously because do you only get defense on the 18 key uh, it's just not it, uh, just doing the 18 key is all you really need to aim for and they're just insane right like it it's just that these characters there's literally just nothing to talk about it's just that these characters are insane right unkillable uh turn one units and then just a reliable slot two or slot three who just do insane amounts of damage, who do insane amounts of everything. But yeah, uh, all of those EZAs are insanely busted. Which one are you guys most excited for? For me personally, I like the MVP uh, 17 or the Team Universe 7 LR the most out of all three of these units. But I also do love both of these two kits. So I'm, I'm obviously excited for all of them, but if I had to put it, I would probably be most uh, excited for the un Universe 7 uh lr but yeah let me know what you guys think uh thank you as always will for remember thank you as always all of you guys for making it this far hope you guys all have a great week i'll see you guys in the next one peace